What's up, Gam Fam? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Join the Gam Fam. It's lit over here. Um, today, I will be reacting to CGP Gray. And this is Weekend Wednesday. So this is something different. Um, this isn't a music video. It's actually um, just, you know, history. <laughs> it's either like history or um, just things that we deal with with everyday life that we might be confused about. I watched a recent vi video from them and it was very interesting. So I said, oh, let me do more. <laughs> so let's get right into this. I don't know what it's about, but it piqued my interest. So here we go. The way the work week works is the worst. Waking up on Monday, you've got five days in a row of work or school. It's too much for, but by Wednesday, withered is your soul with two more days, nay, three more days until the weekend. But alas, the weekend is also broken. Two is the wrong number of days off because the first day off is just a collapse from the overly long work week. And That's the true. second day off is tainted by the looming Monday. The traditional- You know what? I remember when Friday used to be considered the weekend. <laughs> And I would be like, why is Friday even considered the weekend when it, you only get like the rest of the day? Like you work pretty much the whole day and then you have the night into Saturday. So I didn't really consider Friday a weekend. So this is interesting to say to know that they don't consider Friday a weekend either weekend is at best 50% efficient. It takes three days off just to feel like two days off and two days off feels like one day off. But yes. here is where it gets interesting because one day off isn't none day off. A day off never goes unappreciated. Which yeah. brings me to a new schedule for new living. Weekend Wednesday. Take the last three workdays, slide them over one slot, and bring the spare weekend day forward to Wednesday. Now, when you wake up on Monday, there's only two days to go until Weekend Wednesday, then just three more days till Sunday. I've been working on this schedule, and boy, do I love it. Here are the advantages. Productivity goes down without breaks. That's true on the scale of a day to the scale of a year or a life, and it's certainly true on the scale of a week. Well-timed breaks equals a more effective you. A two-day push followed by a break, then a three-day push and rest feels amazing on both cycles. The days off are more relaxing and the days on more concentrated. If you're self-employed with control over your schedule or a student able to pick classes to keep days clear, I strongly suggest you give it a try. And if you're an employer your employee is enthusiastically sharing this video with, it's worth considering if everyone is on board. Now, of course, Weekend Wednesday won't work for the whole world, and that's fine. Better even, because that creates an off-cycle advantage for those of us who are on it. Having a free day when everyone else is working makes so many things easier and faster and crowdless. As for the Saturday, you now have time to wrap up the work week without interruptions from the rest of the world, leaving Sunday as a true day of rest. So that's the glory of Weekend Wednesday. More frequent days off that feel 100%, more concentrated and shorter work sprints with a bonus off-cycle advantage. If those sound intriguing, why not give it a try and see if Weekend Wednesday works for you. Hmm. That's definitely interesting. Like, I feel like that could work, you know? Like, just having a break in between that five-day period because it's just like, it's an overload of work. It's like work, 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 and then you get to relax, but do you? Like he said, like most of the times on like Saturday and Sunday, you're pretty much catching up on things that, on like different errands and stuff that you didn't do during the week. And then like you still don't get enough sleep. <laughs> and then you go right in, back into the work week and that's why everyone hates Mondays. But yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Uh, also, there is um, something in a different country. I feel like it's China if I'm not mistaken, where they take naps. It's mandatory to take like an hour nap or something like that in a country. I don't know, I'm not sure what country it is, but I feel like that's that's really cool. Like I feel like, I'm saying like, I'm saying like again, here we go. <laughs> I just feel that that can just make us feel rejuvenated. 
you know, just give us a, a chance to pick ourselves up. We need to relax. I, I mean, when we were younger, it's like we would always be told, go take a nap. You have to go take a nap. Now when we're older, taking a nap is frowned upon. Like, you mean to tell me that you're taking a two-hour nap? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's crazy, but I feel like we need that, you know, just to function better in society. I feel like crime would probably go down if we took naps. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, that was my reaction to that. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.